Hey, what's up guys? Um, in this video, I want to just do a quick uh, overview over the new Windows Package Manager client, also known as WinGet. It's not officially released yet, but uh, you can try it out if you want. But before I get started, I just want to mention that while I was making this video, uh, several articles came out with regards to a controversy behind Winget. Apparently, um, there was allegations that Microsoft actually borrowed the ideas of Winget from an from a application called AppGet, which was created by a gentleman named Kevin Beggy. Um, and in this article, and I'll I'll provide the link to this re uh, this register article. But apparently he was uh, approached by Microsoft in July of 2019 with regards to their them wanting to uh, work with uh, Kevin. They even offered him a job, apparently, but uh, didn't hear anything back from them until uh, he noticed that Winget was launched. So a little bit of controversy. Again, I'll provide the link to the article. You know, uh, you can read the details on that. But I thought that was interesting and I figure I should share this before I get into Winget itself. All right, so let's check it out. Um, here I am RDP'd into my Windows machine. So let's go ahead and open up a browser and search for it. Okay, so Winget-CLI. You have to go to the GitHub repo. And if you want to install it on your Windows 10 machine, you're going to have to go to the release tab here. Now, uh, again, if you decide to install this on your local machine, just know that right now it's still not uh, generally available. So you're just going to get the preview install. If you want to do an upgrade, you have to manually come in here and get the latest. Okay, so once you're here, just go all the way down here to where it says Assets. You're going to click on Microsoft Desktop App Installer, and it has an extension of AppX Bundle. You're going to save it to your local machine. Okay, it's a small download. You're going to click on it. So I'm going to click on Update. Okay, looks like it might be done. It says, for proper functioning of the app, try to launch a Windows app package. I presume I should be able to do it from PowerShell. And you probably want to run this as administrator. Okay, so now that we're here at the PowerShell prompt, uh, we're just going to type in winget. And that gives us the version. I've, as of this video, it's version 0.1.41331 preview. And it gives you a usage. It just says basically you can type in winget and then one of the commands below and then an option. So first command I'm gonna run is winget source. And I presume that means that's the repo. Oh, I have to type in winget source list. Okay, so we see that it says winget is the name and then the repo is winget.azureedge.net forward slash cache. Okay, let's search for something. Type in winget search um, power toys. Okay, so if you type in winget search and then you give it some package name, it'll return uh, a list. This is no different than other package managers. I use Brew, and on Windows, of course, I use Chocolatey, as well as Apt, AptGet, and Yum, and all those other package managers. So it's very different. It's very, it's not that very different. Let's see what else we can look for. How about uh, VLC? Let me clear this. I can be easier to read. And I apologize. I don't know what's causing this window to look weird. Change the color, the background. All right, much better. 
Okay, so we're gonna type in winget search and VLC. Whoops, dyslexia, VLC. Okay, so we can see that we do have a VLC package. Let's go ahead and install it. I, again, I let's just type in winget first, and I, I presume it'll be the same as any other package manager. Okay, so we're gonna type in winget install VLC. Gives you a nice little progress bar there. Uh-oh. It's giving me a prompt here. Well, that kind of defeats the purpose of having a command line package manager. What if I take no action? How can I use this in automation? Let me hit cancel. Let's see what it does. Okay. So maybe I need to say... I don't know, win gets install dash y VLC. Oh, that's not a parameter. Okay, so I have to tell it silent. Fine. Dash dash silent VLC. It's still prompting me. I'm gonna cancel it because I don't like that. Win get. Let's see, win get show. VLC, let's see what it gives me. Okay, it gives me information on the package. And that's fine. But I have a problem with it prompting me. Okay, I, I don't see any option here to silently install, which really bothers me. Um, because one of the reasons why I want to use a package manager is I can install packages remotely. I mean, with Chocolatey, all I tell it is you know, Choco install dash Y and then the package name and I'm not prompted for anything. So I'm not sure why it's forcing me to do this. Okay, I'm going to try one more way to do this. Silent and how about override towards maybe dash Q or something. Slash Q and single quotes. It's still prompting me. All right, fine. Just so that. <laughs> so it bothers me that it's prompting me. It shouldn't be prompting me. I mean, that's. That just kind of kills the package manager aspect of it. Okay, what about power toys? It's also prompting me. Good Lord. Come on, Microsoft. Just run. I unchecked at prompting me. So maybe when I install VLC, it's not going to prompt me anymore. Okay. So at least now we're going through an installation process. And it seems to be doing what I needed to do. Okay, it looks like it's done. Um, and all it says is uh, it's successfully installed. Oh no, more prompts. So it says it's done, it's installed, but now it's installing the Windows Microsoft Desktop Runtime. Okay. I guess that's why it's still in preview and not GA. Okay, I hope it's done. I'm gonna close this here. Make this bigger, cause. All right, I'm gonna clear the screen. Let's try uh, to install VLC. So win get install VLC. Uh, what is it? Silent, and then VLC. Hopefully, there's no. Okay, I spoke too soon. I'm running this as administrator. Why am I being asked this question? All right, so that's that's a major annoyance for me there. Um, because if that's the case, I wouldn't be able to use this in, in PowerShell scripts to set up, for example, a new server or a new desktop 
Whereas with chocolatey, I don't have this problem. All right, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Okay, let's go back to what are the options here? Okay, so we already went over how to install something and then we are able to see application details. So if we type in Winget Show, right? And then let's say Power Toys, which is the one we just finished installing. It gives you the information on the package, the source. Okay, that's pretty nice. And then I also showed you how to use the search, which is just Winget Search VLC, right? And it gives you the package name there, the tag. Okay, so how do I uninstall a, a package? It doesn't have an uninstall. Let's see. Not recognized as a command. Okay. So you can install packages, you just can't remove them. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess that uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I just, <laughs> I was curious to try out Winget the Winget uh, Package Manager or Windows Package Manager Client. Um, as of this release, which is Winget version, it's version 0.1.41331 preview. You can only install applications. You cannot uninstall them but if, from what I can see. Also, you can kick off an installation but you cannot silently install. It will give you prompts. A big negative for me uh, when it comes to trying to automate an installation. So it cannot be used for that, at least not yet. Um, and then the other thing was um, sources. There's not, there's not that many sources or packages, right? Winget install, and this will give us the list of packages out there. Let's have let's look around and see what we can find here. Well, it's quite a bit actually. Take that back. I'm surprised it has this many. Seven zip. Arduino, Blue Jeans, CPU Z. Ubuntu. Oh, okay. So you can install WSL in here, DOSBox, Docker Desktop, Dropbox, Docker Desktop 2330. Let's see what version. Oh, actually, it's my Mac. Never mind. Uh, ExpressVPN, GIMP. GIMP is in there. Atom, Editor, Nmap, uh, Network Map, Azure CLI, KeePass, Firefox, Thunderbird, PowerShell, Desk, uh, PowerShell 701, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, Putty. Okay, so it has quite a few things. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I look forward to this uh, being released and without these uh, issues that I'm seeing. And I think it's a good start for them. Um, I've been waiting a long time for Microsoft to come up with their own built-in package manager. I love Chocolatey, and I'll continue using it for a long time. Um... I presume there's still no DSE or desired state configuration modules for Winget yet. Uh, I'm sure either you can roll your own or or whatever, but uh, once it's available in DSE, this would be another alternative to Chocolatey. And uh, I look forward to using it. I hope you guys uh, try it out. There's nothing, you know, there's no risk in trying it out. Um, once they release it, I presume it'll remove the current version you have. Just remember that you'll have to manually be updating this if you're going to do it this way. All right. Thank you guys for joining. I hope you learned something. All right. Talk to you later.